King Charles totally destroys Prince Harry's memoir, the drama behind the scenes. Imagine the quiet rebellion in royal family corridors, or the tension as one writes, while another fumes. Welcome to the latest royal family saga. Prince Harry released a new memoir quietly, hoping for a low-key release. But King Charles isn't ignoring it. He's hitting back harder than expected. Charles is on a royal tour, showing tension and power plays that threaten the monarchy. So, what's really going on? Let's dive in and see what's behind this intense face-off. The memoir that shook the monarchy, why Prince Harry's words are so explosive. Prince Harry's first memoir, Spare, was just out when he released another. This new book stirred the pot again. But why does it have the royals in a frenzy? Harry's latest memoir goes deeper into his story, revealing struggles and family issues. Some see it as a veiled threat, like Harry's hinting at secrets. Does the memoir hold threats or truths? Readers might see Harry's memoir as a power play. Each page reveals secrets that could warn the palace. Is it Harry's way of saying, I'm willing to share more if I have to? These revelations are messages, and the monarchy is listening. King Charles fires back, how a royal tour becomes a battleground. King Charles knows power dynamics well. While Harry's memoir whispers secrets, Charles's royal tour is loud thunder. This tour is meant to show Charles's power, but some think it's to distract from Harry's story. Is Charles taking a subtle jab? In speeches, Charles talked about loyalty, unity, and tradition. Was it usual rhetoric or a message for Harry? Observers think these words are more than casual. Could Charles be responding to Harry's memoir without saying so? Is the King of England subtly sparring with his son? That might be the real intrigue. The quiet release. Why Harry opted for a low-key book launch. Unlike Spare, Harry's new book had a low-key launch. No big interviews or headlines. Just a quiet release. Why such a stealthy approach? Some think Harry didn't want to overshadow Charles's tour. Others wonder if Harry is tired of controversy. Or maybe it was a strategic move to let the book speak for itself. With a low-key release, is this the calm before the storm? Family dynamics on display, the public versus private struggle. The royal family is both a family and an institution. Like any family, they have disagreements and rivalries. But their struggles are public, unlike most families. A father-son rift of epic proportions. The rift between Harry and Charles touches our hearts. It shows us the struggles many families face. But for the royal family, every disagreement seems huge. How do you solve problems when everyone is watching? It's a question we all ponder. In this royal drama, we all want to pick a side. Do you support Harry, the misunderstood son, or Charles, the steadfast father? It's like a novel, but real. The backstory of Harry's memoir, more than just a book. Harry's memoir is rooted in his decision to leave royal duties in 2020. This marked a new chapter for him, seeking freedom but at a cost. From Spare to Here, The Journey of a Rogue Prince. His first memoir was bold, showing Harry's path to independence. The new one delves deeper into being a spare in the royal family. It's not just a backup, but someone always in the shadow. Harry's memoir is more than a book, it's his soul. This truth might upset the monarchy. The real stakes. Could this power play change the monarchy forever? There's a bigger question. Could this fight change the monarchy? Charles's tour shows tradition, while Harry's memoir hints at change. They show two sides of the monarchy. What's the future of the royal family? Charles stands for tradition, a monarchy that has lasted centuries. Harry might represent a modern, relatable royal. His openness connects with people worldwide. Could this divide change the monarchy's future? The idea of a father and son fighting over the monarchy's essence is both fascinating and unsettling. A call to action. What side do you stand on? Now you've seen the drama and the stakes. Where do you stand? Do you support tradition or a modern royal family? Let us know in the comments. Share this article with friends. The more people discuss it, the more we understand its impact. The unseen pressure, how the crown weighs on family relationships. Imagine being watched by your family and the world. Every action is analyzed. 
This is the royal family's reality. Even small actions can spark global speculation. The emotional cost of royal life. For Harry, being of spare was tough. It meant living in his brother's shadow. His memoir shows the struggle of following expectations, not his own path. He's the family member we can all relate to. The one who feels misunderstood and wants to be unique, but is held back by family duties. Charles knew he would be king from a young age. His actions are not just personal, they're his duty. He might wish for a closer bond with his son, but his role demands decisions that seem cold to outsiders. Is there room for forgiveness? Can Charles and Harry reconcile? Their differences are huge, but they might find common ground. The answer could come in future stories and speeches. The public's role in the royal feud, spectators or catalysts. People have always been fascinated by the royal family. They see them as celebrities and family. The royal family's issues, like family tension and duty, are universal. How social media has changed the game. Social media has made the royal family's story bigger. Fans and critics share opinions online. Every move by the royals becomes a viral moment. This makes small disputes big controversies. People worldwide pick sides, adding to the drama. Social media has turned the royals into a global soap opera. Do our reactions impact their decisions? Public opinion can influence the royals. It might push them to act differently. Harry and Charles know this, as public opinion affects the monarchy's image. The lingering question, is this the beginning of the end for the royal family? The monarchy faces a moment of truth. Modern society wants transparency and inclusivity. This conflict could be a turning point. Could this clash reshape royal tradition? Charles stands for tradition, while Harry wants change. Harry's story speaks to those who question tradition. This debate is about the monarchy's future. Will the monarchy evolve or stick to its roots? The answer will shape its future. What lies ahead for Harry and Charles? A potential resolution or ongoing rift? Harry's memoir and the royal tour will influence their decisions. Reconciliation is possible if they understand each other's views. Is there a way forward for father and son? If they reconnect, it will show the value of family unity. Their bond is unique, despite their differences. If they don't, the royal family may split. Either choice will have big effects on the monarchy and public perception. Final thoughts, the ever-evolving story of the royal family. As readers, we're drawn into the drama and the humanity of it all. The tension between Harry and Charles is more than a royal scandal. It shows us the struggles we all face with family, tradition, and freedom. Their story tells us that family relationships are complex, messy, and emotional, no matter our backgrounds. Whether you support Harry's modern vision or Charles's tradition, the story will keep unfolding. It makes us think about our values, priorities, and relationships. It's a story that touches us all. Join the conversation. We want to hear from you. What do you think about the royal family feud? Should the monarchy adapt to modern expectations or stay traditional? Share your thoughts in the comments and spread the word to keep the discussion going. The themes of tradition, change, and family are universal. Looking deeper, the cultural impact of a public family feud. The conflict between King Charles and Prince Harry reflects broader conversations. It touches on generational differences, mental health awareness, and the importance of personal truth. Their feud resonates with many because it mirrors our own struggles on a grander scale. Their struggle is symbolic of the age-old debate between change and tradition. Harry's honesty contrasts sharply with the expected royal reserve. His memoir raises questions. Can the British royal family be open and advocate for mental health without losing its mystique? Generational divides and the need for modernization. For those who support Harry, his move away from royal life is seen as a step toward freedom and authenticity. Others see it as a betrayal of duty and loyalty. This highlights a generational divide. Younger generations value mental health, individualism, and happiness, while older generations focus on duty, loyalty, and endurance. 